Hello. Some chest pain, they can be a serious condition or they can be benign. So what would be uh, considered as a, a serious condition? It can be angina or there's a blockade of your uh, blockade of your coronary arteries so you would have spasm and that will result as angina so that's chest pain so that's very cumbersome and uh, this can be those uh, atheromas or atherosclerotic uh, plaque they're very thrombogenic okay so when you talk about thrombogenic so they are very prone to damage and when there's a damage on the fibrous cap so there's a possibility that plate that would go there and they can be dislodged out of the coronary uh, vessels and uh, can be can cause an occlusion and uh, if there's an occlusion on that it can cause a heart attack so that's very cumbersome now for the more benign uh, conditions of um, chest pain it can be anxiety so as simple as anxiety Second is uh, probably costochondritis. So you have to identify. So if it's just a benign uh, benign problem, so you can take in ginger. So ginger, wild lettuce, these are some of the pain relievers that you can take in. So if you have a more serious condition, which is a myocardial infarct, MI, or angina, what you can do is that uh, you can take in some chili powder, put it in hot water, and drink it uh, as needed. So I hope that this short video was able to help you. Bye! For clogged arteries, um, I think I tackled this like last time with calcium. And I was telling you that a high calcium can cause calcification. Mm -hmm. So And then this can go to your arteries as well. So chromium, right? last time, do you remember I was talking about how chromium can help yeah. uh, with atherosclerosis? Yeah, and obviously adopting more of a plant-based uh, plant diet mm -hmm. can significantly uh, help better mm -hmm. uh, that situation. Magnesium, magnesium can help. Nitrates, yeah, and so nitrates, this can help as well. And again, uh, lemon, lemongrass, garlic, ginger. So you have to have an antiplatelet. That's the one that they usually, the doctors would usually give if you have a coronary artery disease. They would give you aspirin, diba? So you have a substitute for your aspirin, which can be a garlic or ginger. Ginkgo biloba also. It's so, fun to say. Ginkgo biloba. Okay, next is, ano pong pwede sa angina pain? Ano ba yung angina pain? What's angina pain? Are you familiar? Heartache. Yeah, heartache. Got heartaches by the number. Yeah, that's the simplest term for it, the angina pain. But it's because of the vessel walls going to the heart muscle. It's either there's ischemia, okay, or either merong deposition on your uh, arteries that's clogging. So you will have ischemia. So the blood flow going through that part of your uh, heart is uh, decreased so you will have uh, chest pain again nitric oxide has been proven to help with angina okay it's one of the um, natural medications that they are that they are making right now nitric oxide but last time i i discussed about it nitric oxide that it has uh, it has a great effect for patient for for clients who have uh, um also bacterial infection it can help you as well so this one also for the nitric oxide it can help with the vasodilatation so if you have problems in the heart if you have ischemia coronary artery disease and also cerebral stenosis cerebral artery stenosis this can help you guys nitric oxide hello from israel my goodness what, what plant would you recommend that all must have in their house all must Oregano. The, the must-have plant. Siling labuyo. Oregano and siling labuyo. If you can take siling labuyo, it can, even if you're having a heart attack, that will save your life. You're right. She doesn't look 40. Yeah. <laughs> she looks much younger. If you're having a heart attack, siling labuyo will save your life. I'm telling this to you, okay? You get one teaspoon of it, you, you, pull, you powder it, you one teaspoon, put it in water. If some, someone is having a heart attack, you let them drink it. 